What's going on YouTube world? Austin Zayback coming to you with another video. And in today's video, uh, we're gonna be talking about entrepreneurship, business, life a little bit. And I'm actually here with a great friend of mine, a business partner of mine. And I'm actually here in Cabo San Lucas in Mexico. We're staying at a villa right now. And just incredibly blessed, incredibly grateful to be here. And we're sitting by the fire right now. We're drinking a, uh, a Corona. Actually, this is not a Corona light. It's a Corona Extra. Okay, so by the end of the video, this will be a very interesting conversation. But hey, take just a quick moment, if you wouldn't mind, and just smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. We're going to go ahead and jump into it a little bit here. So, uh, Brendan Gray, I really appreciate you being on my channel and uh, being here. We're, we're going to have a conversation. It's going to be fun. Chop it up a little bit. I love it. Have a great time. It's going to be sweet. You know what I mean? So, uh, so here we are, dude. We're in Cabo San Lucas, you yep. know, and... Um, Man, what a what a what a crazy journey to get here. Blessed, you know. Absolutely. And we run a uh, we run a wholesaling company together. Okay, for those of you that are new to my channel, you know, uh, we run a wholesaling company, which, if you're not familiar, is a uh, basically where you're locking up properties uh, below market value, typically with distressed sellers of some situation. And then basically, what you're doing is you're taking that contract, right? In other words, that piece of paper, and you're flipping the contract, right, to a cash buyer, typically somebody that is uh, wanting to buy a fix and flip property or you know potentially hold on to it and and you know make passive income off of that property so we own that company together yep and we also uh we're doing some fix and flip properties together some rental projects together and just a lot more to come yep. i mean at the end of the day uh we're we're just getting warmed up right we're just getting started so you know we, we've both done multiple different companies in our life i mean he had come out of a different company prior to kind of launching this company that we're talking about right now um, I had come and still do multiple other companies. And again, I mean, we're just getting warmed up, you right. know? So I just wanted to come to you guys, you know, we're 20, I'm 25, he's 26 years old. We, we don't claim to have all the answers, right? But if you're watching the video, you know, and you have ever wanted to be an entrepreneur, you've ever wanted to get into business, you've ever wanted to, you know, understand finance at a higher level, right? To invest money, you know, into real estate, right? Into the stock market, whatever the case is, you know, hopefully in this video, we can answer some questions that you have you know, talk about mindset a little bit and really, you know, give you perspective that maybe guys like Grant Cardone, Ed Milet, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, and a lot of the bigger guys that you see can't give just simply due to not, not that they're not amazing at what they do. They're phenomenal. They're incredible. And we look up to them, right? But maybe we're a little bit more relatable. Maybe we're a little bit younger. Maybe we're, um, you know, a lot of the guys that uh, we look up to are, they're older, right? They're, they're, they're a lot bigger. You know, they're, they've got massive corporations. They're doing you know, uh, hundreds of millions or billions of dollars a year. And um, maybe we can make a video where you get value in a little bit of a different perspective. So um, I'm excited, man. I'm yeah, excited. To, I'm excited to kind of dive into this. Yeah. You know, we've done uh, some different book clubs while we've been here with yeah. our team. So uh, we brought our whole team out here. And um, why don't you tell them a little bit about kind of what we're doing out here? You know, we got our, our whole wholesaling team. We've yep. been working a little bit grinding, you know, yep. what, what are kind of your thoughts on that in general? You know, just the idea of and we're horrible at this, right? Sure. You know, so maybe somebody will get some value from this, but uh, just taking taking a step back, right? To, yep. to take a couple steps forward, obviously, we're not good at taking time off. Yeah, I would say, man, um, we're, again, we're extremely blessed. You know, I'm, I'm blessed to be in the position where I am now um, your partner. Um, I've looked up to Austin Zayback um, for years and years and years before I even met him. And, um, you know, the, the fact that we've crossed paths and um, created this company and um, are able to do things like bring our entire team to Cabo San Lucas is um, unreal. We got to come out here. The goal was to um, reward ourselves, reward our guys um, with, uh, you know, a week of being able to reflect on what we've done over the past year, um, how far that we've actually came because, we, you know, when we started, um, you know, we've made leaps and bounds of progress over the last year since we uh, joined arms and created this wholesaling company. And um, yeah, man, uh, it, it, like you say, something we're, we're a little bit bad at, you know, I probably haven't taken a full on vacation. I can't, I couldn't mm -hmm. even tell you, you know, it's probably been over a decade. I've never seen myself. you do it. No. And you know, I don't have any, I don't have any photos on Instagram of that. I don't, I, I just haven't done it. I've been grinding my face off for the last 10 years, you know, and and this is um, what we have is the result of that, you know, and you've been doing the same thing. And um, yeah, just extremely blessed. Super cool. Um, and yeah, just just having a good time while we're out here. Mm -hmm. um, we'll, we'll wake up in the morning time, we, we grind. Um, we'll have a little bit of a mastermind 
and um, you know, we'll, and then for the rest of the day, we'll kind of play and uh, create content, mm -hmm. and you know, continue to service our our company and our clients and um, the people we help. It's just a ton of fun. It's so cool, man. It's so cool to listen to other people that are in your inner circle that at the end of the day just have such a similar mindset. It's just the most refreshing thing in the world. And yeah, dude, we're, we're just incredibly blessed, incredibly grateful. And I, I kind of want to peel back to Youngin a little bit, yeah. you know, ultimately for those people that are watching and listening, you know, they, they could probably take a stab at the fact that again, like you said, right, we've been in business for a little while now. Yep. Again, we're relatively young at the end of the day, yep. but we've learned a lot. We've definitely failed a lot, I'll tell you that. And there's a lot of things we've done wrong, you know, I mean, I think we live in this world, Brendan, where a lot of people right now are getting into business. They're looking at Instagram and TikTok and YouTube, obviously, and all these different platforms, and they want to achieve success overnight. You know, as a matter of fact, they think actually, I, I genuinely believe in my heart that maybe even you watching the video right now, you know, people look at other people and they almost think that they achieved it overnight. Right. You know, because it, it almost appears that way, right? right? It appears in this weird way where it's like, oh my gosh, you know, um, it just happens so quickly for them, right? Yep. And they're trying to emulate something that isn't even a, a possible right. at the end of the day. And it's kind of interesting, right? I mean, it's crazy. I think, um, uh, and myself included, because, you know, I, I met you through social media. And I think that it just comes down to uh, perspective. Um, you know, when I look at somebody like yourself, like I said, I looked up to you for a long time, I would see you're you know, very active on social media. And um, you know, you see people doing things, right? And for me, it's very, very motivating. I know that the hard work needs to be put in. So when I see someone like yourself, I look at myself, I'm like, okay, I can put in this work and I can achieve the same results. But like you say, people just have the opposite perspective where, hey, you know, the photo that is meant to essentially attract you in so that, you know, if you say you post a photo that's attractive, you know, with cars, vacations, girls, whatever it might be, you know, a lot of the times these things will be put out into the world so that you get attracted in so we can actually drop, you know, the real knowledge, knowledge the real value. And um, unfortunately, if, we, if that doesn't happen, a lot of the messages don't ever reach people, you know, mm. because what are, you know, if, if we go out there every single day and tell people what a grind it is and what, you know, they'll never see the rewards that we actually get, why would you want to do it? Right. You know, so what we, we try to tell people, listen, you can live life on your own terms. It's going to be hard work. It's going to take some time. Um, you know, it's not going to be all um, sunshine and rainbows. So you're going to have a lot of failure. You're going to lose a lot of time. You're going to lose a lot of money. Yep. But... You know, I think people just need to look at what's out there and um, really just have the correct perspective. That's kind of an interesting thing you brought up. You 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 mentioned in there. You said like, and actually, like I'm gonna I'm gonna summarize and in, in my own words. So it's like, people post their highlight reel, right, right on social media, right. But but then a layer deeper than that, it's like if you don't post your highlight reel, right. Like if all I posted about was. The, the negative right. of, of business, right? And the and the setbacks and the drawbacks and the and the, the stress, the anxiety, the, the, the intermittent depression, right? All these different things, nobody would ever be entitled. Well, first of all, you would never gain any followers, subscribers, or likes, right. follows, none, none of that, right? right. But secondly, it, it wouldn't even, nobody would ever want to get into the business. Right. So you almost have this scenario where you've got people that understand, right? Guys like ourselves, other people, uh, any entrepreneur really, that is on social media that, that totally understands this concept of like, okay, well, I've got to post the Lamborghini, the Ferrari, the big house, the vacation, the girls, all this for people to even be interested, right? If anything, it's just a form of marketing, right? right. And so you, you kind of, it's almost like this catch 22, right? Where it's like, okay, I've got to show people like the good in order to even like get them in the door, right? But then it's almost like you get kind of caught up in that, right? And then it's like people just end up seeing the good. They don't actually end up ever seeing the bad because everybody's showing the good to get you in the door. And then they're never showing you now that you're in the door, like where to go from there. Right. right? So it's like, you know, we want to be here ultimately um, on, on my YouTube channel, on, on his Instagram, my Instagram, TikTok, wherever. We want to be kind of a, 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 you know, lighthouse, you know, where it's like, look, like you can look at us and say, OK, you know, there's there's an achievable goal. Right. Uh, maybe you're a teenager, you're 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, whatever, however old you are, and, um, and ultimately understand that it is possible, right? But 
like you said, um, don't don't get so wrapped up, number one, in the highlight reel that you believe that it's like attainable overnight. And then number two, yeah, just know that it is gonna take time and ultimately uh, a lot of energy, man, a lot of hard work and a lot of failure. And that kind of leads me to the next thing, right? We were we were having a, a little book club here um, with our with our you know our team, our friends, obviously, and we were talking a lot about like well, as a matter of fact, there was a book, okay, Mark Manson. Um, I'm, I'm not going to give you. Let's see, how can I give you the name without getting demonetized here? So it's um, uh, everything is. I'm going to put it on the screen, <laughs> um, but but you know, at the end of the day, it, that's a, first of all, it's an amazing book. So shout out to Mark, man. Mark, you know, I, I hope you're watching the video. You will at some point in your life. I'll make sure of it. But, um, you know, wow, what an incredible book, right? So it's, but it's like this idea of like, well, a, a, a small portion of the book was kind of this idea of, you know, at the end of the day, failure is a good thing almost, right? Like that, like I'm really summarizing it here, yep. but it's kind of like failure is good, right? Like setbacks are good. Pain, pain is good. Pain and failure might even be able to be synonyms in this scenario, right. potentially, right? Like pain, failure, you know. It's like, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, you know, you look at, you take us, right? I mean, I've, dude, I mean, you know, right? I mean, I've failed, man, more, more times. I mean, for, for my age, again, right? I've, I've, you know, I've had a decent amount of failure. We've, we've spent millions and millions of dollars, I mean, quite literally, yep. on everything you can imagine. 100%. You know what I mean? And um, a lot of failure, you know, a lot of like looking back and, and saying, and you have done the same, you know, you, you know, like from, I mean, you know, you got out of the, one of your recent companies was a landscaping company, right? Which you made great money in, yep. but nonetheless, like there was a lot of failure and I've heard some of the stories. What does that mean to you? Like now that we're, we're here, we're in Cabo, we're, I mean, wow, you know, the sun's setting, we're doing this, uh, this kind of interview. Do you attribute the success you have right now to that failure? So I, I, I do. Um, I love failure. I love, I honestly love failure. I love pain. For me, these are indicators that I'm moving in the right direction. I've actually learned this from you and that was fail forward. Mm. Zabax told me through his Instagram, he didn't know he told me this. Mm -hmm. I, I love to fail forward. You know what I mean? So you got to expect that failure and, and almost kind of love it. Like one of my, um, Buddy's dad, who's like a world-renowned dentist, um, told me one day, he's like, Brendan, it's not how you fall down, but that counts, but it's how you get back up, mm. right? And um, he also Incredible. told me, embrace the suck. And Mark Manson mm -hmm. says the same the thing. The suckage. The suckage. But <laughs> yeah. The way that he put it to me was, Brendan, you got to embrace the suck. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you want to... Uh, if you want to just sit there and you know have a job, that it's gonna suck. You right. know what I mean. But if you want to be an entrepreneur, that's gonna suck too. But you gotta love mm. the journey. That's know? it right there. I love that what you just said. Right. No matter what you do, I, I was I was actually like a golden, golden, golden nugget. Right. It's like life is in a nutshell, right, made up of a series of, of events. A lot of them are gonna be suffering. Yep. You're gonna suffer in life, right? Like as the human being. But as a matter of fact, if you figured out how not to suffer, please. First of all, like the video, drop in the comment section below and let me know, because I would love to take you up on whatever whatever deal you got going on, right? Because uh, wouldn't that be incredible? But, oh <laughs> you know, life is about suffering, right? You're going to suffer. And, and uh, man, you just said it too, but Mark Manson talks about, he says, figure out how to suffer well. Right. You know, figure out how to suffer well. Mm -hmm. Man, that's a hell of a statement, you know? You look at that and you're like, and you just said it, right? It's like, and I, and I used to say this too, I think a little differently, where I said, you know, uh, look, being broke is hard, being rich is hard. Choose your heart. Right. Right at the end of the day, life is hard. Yep. You know, you go and you, you, you work a, a nine to five, it's gonna be hard. Yep. You, you're homeless, it's gonna be hard. You're wealthy, it's gonna be hard, right? And so it's choose your heart. You know, choose what kind of heart you're willing to deal with and you wanna deal with. And I think it's very interesting because I think a lot of people you know, they get caught up, right? And maybe, and maybe somebody, maybe you're watching, you know, they want to, they want to start a wholesaling business. They want to fix and flip real estate. They want to, you know, start, build a rental portfolio. Maybe they want to, maybe they want to get on social media and start a YouTube channel or an Instagram or a TikTok or whatever. And, um, or maybe it's some other various, um, entrepreneur pursuit, right? I think people are so dang afraid of failure yep. and they're so afraid of suffering that they never get started. They, they look at it and they look at the idea of it and they can maybe even visualize what it would be like, quote unquote, that end goal, right? 
but they don't ever take that first step because they all they can see is the pain, the suffering, whatever, right? And obviously we're, we're shifting gears a little bit, but like, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, you know. Well, it ties right in. Um, you said afraid, you know, so people are fearful of these things happening. They're fearful of suffering. They're fearful of pain and fearful of pa uh, failure. But like I said, I, for me, myself, um, and I'm sure you have similar thoughts is I use those. So as indicators for me, if I'm too comfortable, I know there's something wrong. Hmm. I'm not moving enough. Um, I'm not doing enough. Um, you know, and there's times where, you know, you'll take a week, you know, the first week in 10 years yep. that, you know, we're, we're living comfortable this week, you know, and for us though, this isn't going to be a stagnant thing. You know, it's yep. like we get right back to work while we're here, we're working. Yep. Um, so I, I think it's just being a, you know, people need to use those fears as indicators to move towards that. You so you almost I mean? embrace it. Yep. Right. Exactly. You, you kind of look at that, you, you change your perspective on that yep. and you say, okay, you know, great. Right. I'm going to actually take a step into that. Right. I'm going to move forward knowing that yep. and, and really embrace that. And I think you said it too. And I think I even heard uh, Mark Manson say mm -hmm. this while we're on the topic. You like the idea of it. Yeah. You know, um, people like the idea of the, you know, exactly what we're doing, you right. know, but it's those fears that are going to stop them. And, um, you know, if, if, if you're not fully in love with uh, going after whatever that it is that you want, right? Just, you ha you, you got to find the passion. You got to find the love. I agree with that and a million why, percent. You know, that's why they say if you're not passionate, you know, what do you have? What do you, if you're not passionate about what you do, and how are you going to get there? Entrepreneur, yeah. you know, being an entrepreneur, we're passionate about it. Yep. And we know the life that we live. And that's why we post on the social media. That's why we want other people to do what we do and teach them these principles. Because, mm. you know, for us, this is not for our health. We just want a better world. We are loving people. Right. You know what I mean? And, you know, if, if we can provide value and show people that life, be that beacon, then, you know, that's why we do it. Game over game over it, it's yeah it's about that it's the pursuit of progress it's you know this idea of you know ultimately building something bigger than yourself you know it probably ties into legacy it probably ties into uh, changing the world on some level you know i think entrepreneurs you know like true like visionaries giving back, giving back giving right back. yeah like helping people right serving people right and that's right? why we get to where we're at and that is we're solving people's problems you know? and we're serving and we try right we try to serve people every day yep. in whatever area that looks and feels like you can't serve everybody right but you know in, in the littlest of ways right giving people compliments supporting people lifting each other up you know showing people that they can do it right making this video right like going out of our way to do whatever it is that we can do to make other people's lives better and that's what we, we encourage you to do right watching the video is it's like you know take a step back and figure out and, and you know this could maybe lead into a kind of our next talking point for a minute but it's like if your focus is on other people right then ultimately you all, and my mentor told me this a long time ago right he said austin he said take the focus off of yourself and focus on other people and he's like the moment that you make other people's lives better your life will automatically become better right. as a result of that without you even putting any attention on that right and that was an interesting thing for me because, you know, for the long, you know, kind of like human instinct is like to focus on yourself right. first. It's like, okay, I got to eat. Yep. I got to pay my bills. Yep. I got to freaking make my rent, you know, blah, blah, blah. Right. And, and that's scarcity. It's, it is. It's total scarcity. Right. Because you're, you're, it actually is coming from a place of worry. Right. It's come, if you really dig deep, you're, it's, it's a worry thing. Right. It's like, okay, I'm worried that if I don't do blank, then I can't afford blank. Right. If I don't, you see what I'm saying? Yep. And so it's like if you put someone else ahead of you, exactly. Then, you know, that's abundance. Like behind. That's abundance. But that's, that's abundant. That is the abundant mindset. It is. Which it, just now you're gonna have results flow. Because, because it, and and the, the the scary like thought of that right is like oh if I put other people first and what if you're I'm not behind. taken care of right? right? Like what if all of a sudden like I go out and like donate my last hundred dollars to you know a homeless person all of a sudden I can't afford to pay my phone bill right, right. or whatever and it's. But that mindset in itself is why people fail, 100%. right? It's why people ultimately lose track of the, the thing in itself that will get you to where it is that you want to go. It's like, 
you know, you have to solve bigger problems. You have to help people. You have to serve people, right? And and this goes way back. I mean, you read Think and Grow Rich. I mean, God, good, goodness. I mean, like, you go look at the Bible. I mean, Bible, yeah. um, like, any, pretty much any, like, major author, success, book, like, personal, like, self-help, you know, they're going to talk about, like, serving other people, right? Solving problems, like, putting other people before yourself. And ultimately, um, that's been a big learning lesson, too, for, for the both of us, yeah. you know? And we... And we've navigated different seasons of our lives where I'm sure, right, both of us can attest to different, you know, certain seasons where like we're totally selfless and other seasons we're totally selfish. And there is a significant difference between those different um, seasons of life. And you look back, and, you look back you know, at them, you're like, man, like when I was giving, you know, to my church or this, this or this, or when I was tithing or whatever, you know, I was experiencing tons of abundance from every angle that you could imagine from doors that I didn't even know would open yep. or that existed, right? And when I was just like, me, 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 I thought I had it all, in reality, I had nothing. Yep. And it's, it's really interesting to like look at that. It is, it's faith, you right. know? Because you have to have faith to have that abundance mindset that, you know, if you give your last dollar, that that will be returned to you in abundance, you right. know? And um, it's a, it is a scary leap to take, you know? But I think what's cool for people like me and you is we've, once you take that leap and you, you get used to it, mm, yep. you almost get addicted to it. It's something where it's like you constantly want to keep pushing. You almost barrier. trust the process yeah. and you at you some point. Yeah, you really you look at the process and you're like, okay, like, it's a recipe. I, I, yeah, it's a total recipe. You're like, I get it. You're like, I can't see the end, like how, where, how this is all going to play out, but I know that it will. Yep. I've been here before. It's worked out before and it's going to work out again. Yep. Right, and you start to really look at that and understand that, and I think that's like really important at the end of the day, for for anybody listening, anybody watching, to really understand, you know, and and comment down below what you think. I would really be interested. So, with Brendan, you know, we'll reply to obviously all of the comments, but like, what do you think, you know, the key is, and what's been holding you back, you know, in your journey, in your journey so far? Um, we would be obviously really curious to to know that. So. We'll kind of wrap it up. We'll make, we're going to make some more videos, by the way, uh, while we're here in Cabo San Lucas. We wanted to sit down and just talk a little bit about the mindset, right? About how it is that we've gotten to where we're at. Uh, but we are going to film multiple more videos while we're here. So we'll, uh, we'll watch this video. We're going to see what we missed, what, you know, whatever. And we'll film multiple more. Um, you know, any final thoughts, Brendan, for, for anybody watching, you know, kind of just what we've talked about so far here in this particular video? Yeah, just step out, you know, um, and get started because mm. that that ultimately and fail as fast as possible probably that's going to be the Amazing. you know just just move into that fear and fail quick fail you know, quick and learn off those failures fail quick and fail forward fail quick and fail forward okay so that is exactly what every single entrepreneur every business person anybody in finance needs to do ultimately and uh, we're gonna be there for you 100% of the way. Again, if you haven't already, go ahead and like this video. Drop into the comment section down below what you would like to see in a future video. We'd love to make it for you. We're gonna film multiple more while we're here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and see. Oh, and by the way, uh, Brendan, all of Brendan's information is gonna be down below. So definitely go make sure you follow Brendan. Uh, you go ahead and interact with him on Instagram, on uh, probably Instagram's the best place, yep. or, fa or Facebook maybe. Yep. And uh, guys, we just look forward to seeing you in the next video. Brendan, I really appreciate you being with me here today and just providing a ton of value. It's an honor. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it.